Now we want to go ahead and go over to KCRA 3 Stephanie Lynn. As I mentioned, she is at the evacuation center in Diamond Springs. How many people are there, Stephanie, approximately? Yeah, Lisa, we've been seeing dozens of people tricking, trickle in and out of the evacuation center behind me here. This is a fireman's hall that's been set up as a temporary evacuation center for folks who've been asked to leave their homes because of danger of this Caldor fire. Now, I'm actually, I was actually just told moments ago by the folks who are operating this evacuation center here in Diamond Springs, uh, this is at 3734 China Garden Road, that they're actually going to be transitioning folks over to a another more permanent evacuation center that's being run by the Red Cross. That's at 2502 Country, uh, Country Club Drive. Um, but again, we've been seeing dozens of people coming in and out of this temporary evacuation center here in Diamond Springs. A lot of people expressing concern. You can see a number of cars that are parked out here. They're not sure about the status of the animals. I, I, sp I spoke with uh, one gentleman who was forced to leave his goats and his sheep behind. He's quite worried about them. He's not sure when he can go back in. Um, we also spoke with another woman. She said that she actually survived the King fire that burned in 2014, and now she's being asked to evacuate again. And it's scary, and it looked just the same this morning. It was just black and orange and really a um, history repeating itself. And another live look at the situation that continues to unfold here. A lot of folks uh, driving up, pulling into this parking lot, hoping to get more information on where they should be headed next for safety. Um, I can tell you from a source from Cal Fire telling me that when an evacuation warning comes down, that's actually the best time to go. You don't want to wait last minute when an evacuation order comes down because that's when a lot of those roads might be packed with cars. Uh, people are, might be rushing. Now, we always ask people not to panic during an evacuation, but there could be a sense of nerves kicking in when that evacuation order comes down. So really, when an evacuation warning comes through, it's best to pack up and go. Reporting live from Diamond Springs, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. All right, uh, very good advice. Great reminders for everyone that really the warning is when you wanna go. You don't wanna wait for it to become mandatory because not only are you cutting it close, you don't know how fast that fire can move. And did you hear from people there if it was easy for them to get there to the evacuation center? You know, uh, the woman that you just heard from, Sheila, she was actually tuned into her local fire scanner, so she was able to stay abreast of a lot of the information coming down from fire officials. She was also watching KCRA 3. So in terms of the information getting out there, people are, uh, you know, staying tuned to their local news. They're keeping an eye, uh, uh, they're listening to their uh, fire scanners and also uh, keeping uh, abreast of what's uh, being, de uh, being shared on social media. Um, so, you know, the word is getting out in terms of evacuation orders in terms of uh, getting um getting down the road roadways and so forth to the evacuation center here but we're going to speak to some more people and get them to share their stories with us and we'll report back to you throughout the day lisa yeah and if you can stephanie just because i know from driving these roads my whole life ask them what the conditions were like and by that i mean specifically was it smoky were they seeing fire were they seeing a lot of firefighting personnel also on the road these roads are extremely narrow uh, they're the kind of roads that when you're a kid you feel like you're going to fall off the side of the road just to give you some perspective so if you can I would really appreciate that when you're out there talking to everyone thank you so much Stephanie Lynn we'll be checking back in with you periodically